you probably clicked on this video because your Roblox is lagging a lot. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix that. So as you can see, I'm only getting around like 90 to 100 FPS. Nothing crazy because my computer isn't good. But if you have like any new or good computers, you should go, you should get like 400 to 1000 FPS by doing this. I just can't get that because my computer sucks. So you want to go to your Roblox player, right click it and then press open file location. Okay, so once you've made it to this point, you then want to right-click the folder, and then you want to go New Folder. Yeah, everyone knows how to make a folder, okay? You just want to make a folder. You want to name that folder Client Settings, okay? So you make a folder, you name it Client Settings. Now we're done there. You want to go into the link in the description, and you're going to want to copy all of this code right here, okay? Uh, you could check it if you want, man. I'm just going to tell you it's completely safe. It's like all... It basically just tells Roblox to not have a limit on your FPS and it also like changes some things like it makes the graphics better and stuff and you want to go into your folder that you just made and you want to go new text document and inside this text document you're going to want to paste all of the code you just uh, that you just put. And then you just want to click File, Save. Delete the old name and rename it to this, ClientAppSettings.json. And then it says, if you change this file name extension, it might become unusable. But you want to press yes anyway. And now we're done. That, that, that's it. That, that's literally, that's the whole process. It's that simple. Now, like I said before, my computer is absolute garbage. So it's not going to be that good for me. But if you want to tell how it works, uh, just press Escape, Settings, and you'll see... Your graphics quality has a bit more bars to it, just just a little bit. Yeah, uh, it has a bunch more bars for some reason, that's how you know it works. And you can also just press F5 and you can see your FPS. 